Presenting a new Fuse plugin for Resolve, a plugin which can generate ASCII art from any video in Fusion. Let's start the tutorial. Here we are currently in the Fusion page of Resolve, with a media imported here. This is actually a GIF footage. But we can use any footage we want. Let's import the Super ASCII plugin, just open the node menu and search for the Fuse name. Now connect the ASCII node with the media node like this, you can then see the results after connecting it. This plugin has many controls which we can view on the right sided inspector window. You can see the basic controls here, let's understand the controls we have. First we have the size option which allows us to change the character size like this. You can see the details are increased when we increase the slider value. Then we also have the spacing slider which allows us to separate the character distance. We also have a pixelate parameter which can reduce the details by pixelating the scene. There is a gain slider too, it will simply increase the character color strength. Other than this, we have an alpha slider where we can adjust the background opacity, if you remove the merge node then you can get a proper transparent background. Or you may add a different color through a background node if needed. These are the basic controls for the ASCII effect, you may ask where is the character controls? We have the character list in this character section. As this is a shader based ASCII effect, we can't directly send text in written form. Every character has a special bitmap data, the defaults are given here, we can randomize all these characters with this button. You can get different character set every time you click the randomize button. There are also enable and disable all buttons if needed. If you wish you can only use a specific character for the ASCII effect, for example if we enable the M character then the effect will only show the M character. Like these you can select your own character set, also note that we can even draw our own character in this plugin which I will show later in this tutorial. We can improve this effect more by adding a color correct node. Just search for color correct in the node menu. After adding it we can change the hue through this color wheel. You can select a greenish or a blue color, or any color you find good. You can also add a simple glow node after this. Let me show you how it looks when you add a glow effect to the characters. You can now see the final result here. I hope you understand what this plugin can do. You can play with all these controls and get your desired results. But the video doesn't end here, the most powerful option is inside the bitmap tab of this plugin. Inside the bitmap tab you can see a 5x5 grid, this is the place where we can draw our custom character, let me show you an example. Here we have drawn a simple X pattern, we will then name this pattern, and then click on add bitmap button. This value will be added to the bitmap value list. You may not recognize this bitmap character because there are already many characters here, so we will disable the default ones. Now you can clearly see the new bitmap we draw. Like this we can make more custom characters. If you want to remove a character then just clear the value from the list like this. So that's all in this video, you can experiment more with my other plugins like the Super Pixel Sword. Thanks for supporting.